So in a recent article from Protestia, we see the headline that televangelist Pat Robertson says, I don't think most Christians are stupid enough to believe in creationism. Now, while that's a catchy title, it's not exactly accurate. He doesn't ever say that exact sentence in the proof video. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a defender of Robertson's ministry by any means. There are many pages that disclose his false teachings and ungodly actions. In fact, I would recommend this one from Polite Leader who did a great job of summarizing many of the points. But when we look at the comments like, the truth is, you have to be deaf, dumb, and blind to think that the earth we live in only has 6,000 years of existence. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. He continues to say, it just couldn't have been done, couldn't possibly have been done. I think that shows where his real faith is in our Almighty God that can do anything within any time frame that he wants. So in regards to him saying that most Christians don't believe in creationism, the only way to draw that conclusion is from this sentence. He says, the whole planet is tuned for life, but it... I believe referring to life, didn't get here in six to seven thousand years. It got here over almost 14 billion years to get this earth to where it is now. So yes, that sure does sound like he is saying that most Christians don't believe in creationism, but would believe in evolution over billions of years. But it doesn't say that directly. We'll play that clip in a moment, but I for one believe in the young earth theory and God's seven day plan. I find it fascinating that we are about to be taken from this world after 6,000 years of existence and then the millennial kingdom will represent that seventh day of rest. Another thing to consider is that people like Kent Hovind have done some excellent research in defending the Young Earth Theory. I'll leave a link to him below as well as the polite leader. And these links are all under the description above. So here's the clip. This right. is Carol who says, why does your show promote the old earth theory and not the other biblical viewpoint, which is believed by most Christians? Well, I don't think most Christians have got, uh, you know, uh, stupid enough to believe that other. The other is the usher theory. You, the, you added all the generations from Adam until, until the current time, and you say, all right, that adds up to 7,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, the Earth is only 7,000 years old. Well, that's just nonsense. I mean, there are just too many geological factors, too many uh, things that have happened on our Earth. Uh, it, it, the Earth is, is about 14 billion years old, and you, there's just no question about it. You've got the dinosaurs, you've got all the things that have happened on this Earth, and the, there's too much geology. I mean, it's just established science. So the idea of uh, you know, having a a uh, six or seven thousand year uh, Earth is just, it's just, n any Christians who believe that just, I, I, I'm telling you that they aren't very up on today's, I believe science. I mean, let's face it, you know, God didn't, I mean, look at who he was. He said, you know, he's written things. He said, this whole planet was set up uh, for God's purpose. And the universe is tuned for life. But it didn't get here in six or seven thousand years. It got here over almost 14 billion years to get this earth to where it is right now. Okay. So once again, the age of the earth and your belief on this topic is not a salvation issue, but definitely an interesting one to consider. Evolution, on the other hand, is 100% against God's unique creation and has no compatibility with God's word in the Bible. So, as always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.